On your marks. Get set. Chug. Good mythical morning. Happy first day of autumn, Link. Really? There's no way we're really? already in fall. We are. It's time to bury our faces in the warm feeling of fall. Now, when you think of autumn, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Well, one summer, she started coming to the same babysitter as me. Huh? She had long, flowing brown hair, and then she left before the school year began. We lost touch. We never touched. This is a girl named Autumn, I assume. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope she's good. Autumn, hey. I also think of soup. <laughs> and hey. that's, that's why I started today, and over the next three days, we're gonna be trying 24 different soups across three distinct categories and picking our favorites. And we're kicking off today's tournament with a soup that is bona fide worldwide. Brace yourselves as two men open their slurp holes for a thrilling three-day soup spectacular. Today, eight brothy bowls of brawny instant noodles contend in a battle most brutal, albeit far from futile. One soup holds the noodle we want to canoodle. The chewy string with the bling, the tasty rope, most dope. It's time for Soup Timber to remember. Instant noodle soup. You all right? Yeah. All right, when we say and that's instant... just day one, you wait. <laughs> <laughs> when we say instant noodle soup, we're talking about the good old packets of dry noodles that you gotta add water to and then patiently wait as the noodles unfold themselves inside a warm, yummy broth. And I mean, the shelves are packed with this stuff. Yeah, right. A lot only of one can be the best. Okay. And heads up, tomorrow we're gonna be finding out the best fast food soup, and then Friday we're gonna be dipping into cheesy Campbell soups, but today mm. is all about the instant noodle soups. Now we posted a survey online, and 28,396 of you voted on which nice. instant noodle soups you like most, and your votes decided our brackets today. And according to you, the top eight instant noodle soups are Maruchan creamy chicken flavor, Indomie special chicken flavor, Maruchan beef flavor, Nishin top ramen chili flavor, Nong Shim Shin Ram Yun gourmet spicy, Maruchan soy sauce flavor, Nishin cup noodles chicken flavor, and Nong Shim Shin Ram Yun black noodle soup. In the end, only one instant soup is gonna be worthy enough to sit atop the coveted Golden soup stew. Ooh, look at that. Hello. Bring on the bowls. All right, starting out with our top seed, Marochan creamy chicken flavor, mm -hmm. up against our bottom seed, Indomie special chicken flavor. Both chicken. I know that Davin is pulling for the Indomie because Indo is short for Indonesia, and me is for noodles. Yeah. What is Marochan? Uh, and then Marochan is loosely translated. Uh, Basically like a round faced happy child. Oh, why am I? Okay. Mm. Gotta get some of the broth. That's comforting. It is creamy. There is a creaminess to that broth. Let me have a little bit more. That, that was nice. That was very nice. Mm hmm Really nice. I'm a, okay, you gonna leave your spoon? Let me see if I'm into these. <laughs> <laughs> see if me is into these. Yeah. Huh. Dave in. More brothy. Ooh, a lot, a lot more spicy. spicy. It's got that bite to it. Hmm. Huh. Okay. But I, but I find myself wanting to taste this one again because I just, I, I really like the creaminess of, of this. The initial bite of uh, the uh, Marochan was more impressive. I do like the spicy, but let's see. But th this, this is a more robust taste. It hugs your heart. It's very much on your beard right now. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna uh, keep happening. Yeah. Oh, Just do that. Gosh. I don't prefer spicy, but I'm I'm okay with it, and I think there's a good place for it, but the creaminess just takes the cake for me. Uh, okay, David, we're sorry, uh, but it looks like Marachan is gonna move on, which means that we're going to toss the Indomie into the huge freaking ladle, and we're gonna say, see you ladle. Oh. oh. So Marachan creamy chicken moves on. Now we got the Marochan beef flavor versus the Nishin top ramen chili flavor. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not immediately into this. Yeah. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm a bit bored. It doesn't taste bad. It tastes good, but it's not anything to to send a postcard about. When's the last time you sent a postcard? I should get back into it because I can't even remember. 
Something special about sending people postcards. Well, when you get the straight up broth, that's a little kick. It's a kick that I really like. <laughs> this this wakes up your mouth. The interest factor is just and it's, is there. To me, beef, um, bore, beef is boring. Yeah, I say, let's see you ladle to the beef. Let's just go ahead and do that. You can do it. Oh, no, way off, wow. way off. Wow. Not that I wasn't before, but postcards. <laughs> let's get some of those and send those. Around. Mythical postcards, that's something we, could, we should think about. All right, the Marachan. Is this Marachan? Yes. Nope. Nishin Top Ramen nope. Chili moves on. Check out the Mythical Kitchen channel. Josh and Emily are taking a trip of the tongue to Singapore because over there at their KFC, they have a mac and cheese zinger. The bun is made of mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. They recreate this thing. Check out the Mythical Kitchen channel and subscribe. And also they got a podcast where they're talking this week about whether or not a Kit Kat counts as lasagna. Hot dog is a sandwich, wherever okay. podcast or podcasted. Okay, so now we've got Nongshim Shin Ramyun Gourmet Spicy versus Marachan Soy Sauce Flavor. So this is getting more complex over here. There's more happening. These noodles are thicker too. Now, um, the Nongshim website says Nongshim Shin Ramyun can make a grown man cry. Oh man, that's good. I don't consider myself a grown man. Mm. But that is spicy. That to, to is me, so good. It's not about, it's about what is the taste within the spice. And it, this one grabs my tongue in a different place than the other spicy stuff. It's not mushy at and all. What is that thing? There's a brown thing? It's, there's interesting things in there. Brown chewy thing? And then we're, now we're just soy sauce. Some people like simple things. Not me, <laughs> but I'm gonna try it. I like simple things. I mean, it's Let me good. Let me get some of that sauce. A survey done in the year 2000 asked Japanese people what they thought was their greatest export of the 20th century. Was it the Walkman? Was it the Nintendo? No, it was instant noodles. What about an instant noodle uh, Walkman? I don't want any more than that. That's a good you idea. You think you can get music to go through a noodle? Me personally, no, but could science? Sure. There's no contest for me on yeah. this one. This is, this is amazingly this is robust. Level. This deserves a postcard. So to the Marochan soy sauce ramen, we say, see you later. Oh, oh I you, almost banked it off the- You hit the top. And that means that the Nongshim Shin Ramyun Gourmet Spicy is moving on. Now we got the good old Nishin Cup of Noodles chicken flavor versus Nongshim Shin Ramyun, the black package noodle soup as opposed to the red, which we tried earlier. Now there's some corn in here. Some corn and some... Uh, oh yeah? Carrots. Carrots. Let me get down in there. That's pretty nice. It's comforting. Mm. But it's, I mean... I mean, it's like... It's still a little boring. It's just, yeah. I mean, look at this. I just, there's a, there's a mushroom you, sitting on top of it. Now we really like the red. Let's see if we really like the black. Oh, that's still spicy. Did you know, I was mm. just informed. Mm that our very own Nicole was the food stylist for Nongshim Shin Ran Yum noodles at one point in her life. Mm -hmm. How is, I mean, Josh, this is this is, this is is a fun fact that's actually a fact. That's why we hired her. Cause she, what did they tell her about kept, the noodles? She, she kept them too bloated. I can't immediately tell the difference between this one and the last one. But yeah. I can tell you that it's a lot better than that boring stuff. Yeah, it is, we you love know. it. Okay, here we go. Cup of noodles. See you later. Oh, a little uh, short, but you're you're correcting I, I, properly. I was getting to get in the line, right? Which means the Nong Shim Shim Run Yun Black Noodle Soup moves on. Okay, our semifinals. We've got uh, Marochan Creamy Chicken Flavor versus Nichen Top Ramen Chili Flavor. Mm. Again, this is everybody's favorite. If you buy these in in, in bulk, Marochan is going to run about twenty cents a pack. Whereas the Nishin is about 25 cents a pack. After everything we've been through, Rhett, together today, that that creamy stuff is pretty simple. But I mean, this just has chili. It's basically just like, just the spice, but not a lot of interest beyond that. Mm. This spice is not as good as the spice from the, uh, no. the South Korean noodles. But, but do you like it better than the cream? The cream versus some spice, which we know isn't the best spice. I don't think I'm as creamy as I am I am spicy. I think I'm a spicy man. I like the spicy better than the creamy. I'm sorry that this is the number one seed, but. The creamy is is unique. Well, that, it's got that going for it. I gotta vote You're for the cream. You're a creamy cream. man? Mm-hmm. I mean, in this matchup, definitely. 
Uh, I'm this holding, is a boring spice. I'm holding strong at spicy. Uh, that well, means we, we've got a tiebreaker situation. Time to tug the noodle. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna throw our, okay, thank you. So, he, so Chase is gonna place this in our mouths and then on the count of three, we're going to pull and see who gets more noodles. You guys noodle. need to stay close. Don't watch, go away. <laughs> On your marks, get set, chug. <laughs> you got Look at how long that noodle is. Well, Ooh, that means that the spicy is moving on. Oh, on, let me- Creamy let, chicken. Let, let me toss it, it's on my side. Okay. I feel like I'm getting close. That, you were that close. What did it hit? You were you were a little further back that way. Dang it. And that means the Nishin Top Ramen Chili moves on. Okay, it's the Korean noodle matchup of Nongshim Shin Ram Yun against itself. Red versus black, though. What yes. are the differences between the okay. red and the black? So the red comes with one seasoning packet of beef, extract, chili, and vegetables. The black which is actually a little bit more expensive than the red, comes with one packet of chili mix and then another pack that has beef and anchovy soup base. And the dehydrated vegetable packet in the black is also larger and contains bigger chunks of mushrooms, scallions, and peppers. So you, which is why you're gonna pay more for the black. <coughs> Ooh, that's right. <coughs> that red is some tasty stuff. I like this so much. Now, so side by move, side. Let's move on over to the black. Side by side. You can taste that anchovy paste a little bit. It's a more complex flavor. Yeah, what? I didn't know that's what it was. The spice is a little bit on the back end of the bite, whereas the red kind of hits me right up front. Yeah, yep. It's a, the black has a deeper spice. Mm -hmm. The red has a, a sharper spice. I think I might like the red more than the black. Crap, man. Let me go I back think in. I might like the black a little bit more than the red. Oh gosh, well hopefully we got more noodles. A little better flavor, more robust flavor in the black and spice, harder hitting spice and still a good flavor. Uh, shoot, I don't, I like the red more. I like it, the black I, a little bit more. It really right, comes down to- Get another noodle, Chase. It really comes down to where, you, where you're putting the, um, the emphasis, if it's on the spicy or the taste, and, it, and, and were you either like this or like that. Oh gosh, but I, I think when you factor in price though- These are a little bit cheaper. They're a little bit cheaper. All right, I'll agree with you. Oh, oh I like, I like he, almost had, he almost had a noodle. See you later. <laughs> oh, and then that toss. Ah, oh, okay. But the red moves on because of money. Okay, our finals are here. We got the five seed, the Nishan Top Ramen Chili Flavor versus the three seed, the Nongshim Shen Ram Yum Gourmet Spicy. We call it the Red Packet. And you know what? This is the first cup of noodles from way back. 1958, this is the originator. I'm sorry um, that but, this is the originator, but it, you know I mean, you're happened? talking 25 cents versus like a dollar 25. So you're paying a substantial amount more, but then it's still just a, like a dollar 25. And it is so much larger of an experience. It might cost five times as much. It's at least five times as good. All right, so on your side, this is your last chance to see your ladle. Okay. You ready? Oh, you're drying it. off your hands. You're really going for it. <sighs> I'm gonna do it, Link. Can he do it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <sighs> yes! <laughs> and we are pleased to crown the best noodle is the Nongshim Shim Ran Yun Gourmet Spicy Red. See if you can go right in the door and come see ya. Hey, hey. Well, hello. Oh, come out of the door, okay. This was no contest. It, well, it was between this and the black, but I gotta tell you, these are so much better than anything. I think I learned something today. Get you some. Not a noodle aficionado, but I learned something. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. We'll send you a postcard. You know what time it is. I'm Chloe. I'm Chris. And we're at the Great Pyramids. And it's, it's time, time to, to spin, spin the wheel of mythicality. mythicality. <gasps> oh, I'm so that's jealous. not a green screen, is it? No, it's not. I'm jealous, They were man. really there. All right, click the top link to watch us play Sushi Jenga in Good what? Mythical More. What did you call it? Sushi Jenga. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. I think we made cheese sauce.